Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about example on GCD. In our previous classes, we discussed a few properties of GCD. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So it is very simple example, but the way we are going to solve this, we you need to understand. Maybe these type of examples help you in solving the remaining examples. So for that purpose, we have taken this example. The so coming to the question, find integers u and v. We need to find the integers u and v such that GCD of six fifteen comma one zero eight zero equal to. It was given that GCD of six fifteen comma one zero eight zero equal to six fifteen u plus one zero eight zero v. From this, we need to identify u and v. The similar property we already discussed in our previous class. What's that property? GCD of a comma b equal to one. If this happens, if GCD of a comma b equal to one, then there exist u and v such that a u plus b v equal to one. Yes, the same thing. A b a u plus b v equal to GCD of a comma b. Here GCD of a comma b is one. So GCD here also GCD of six fifteen comma one zero eight zero is whatever the GCD that equal to six fifteen u plus one zero eight zero v. So the way we need to solve this, we we need to understand that first we are going to identify the GCD. How we are going to identify the GCD? One zero eight zero can be written as the biggest one and the smallest one. Y equal to b multiplied by quotient. Plus remainder value, the division method, division algorithm method. We are going to write this. Six fifteen multiplied by one time six fifteen one time six fifteen plus remainder values four sixty five equal to one zero eight zero. This can be written like that. Now take the previous smallest and the remainder value means six fifteen equal to. This can be written as four sixty five multiplied by one plus remainder value. Now take the previous value, previous smallest six four sixty five and one fifty four sixty five equal to three multiplied by one fifty plus remainder is fifteen. Now take the previous smallest and the remainder value one fifty equal to ten multiplied by fifteen plus zero. This is what we have taken until you got zero. This is how we find GCD using Euclidean. Now GCD of fifteen comma zero equal to fifteen. So GCD of six fifteen comma one zero eight zero is fifteen. That equal to we that equal it was given that equal to six fifteen u plus one zero eight zero v. So how to find the u and v? So in order to find that we are going in the reverse order. So from this line we got that fifteen because GCD is fifteen. Fifteen equal to this can be written as four sixty five minus three fifty three multiplied by one fifty. So why we are writing in terms of four sixty five and three multiplied by one fifty? From four sixty five you can get six fifteen. From six fifteen you can get one zero eight zero. Finally, we need terms in form of six fifteen and one zero eight zero. So that's why we are writing in the reverse direction. So fifteen equal to four sixty five minus three multiplied by one fifty. Now in place of one fifty. See here statement one fifty can be written as six fifteen minus if you take this term to the other side six fifteen minus one multiplied by four sixty five so six fifteen minus one multiplied by four sixty five this entire statement can be written as four sixty five minus three when it goes inside minus three goes inside plus so three times four sixty five minus three times six fifteen so from this entire equation we got four multiplied by four sixty five minus Three multiplied by six fifteen. Now six fifteen can be written as see here. Six fifteen can be written as you take four sixty five to the other side. One zero eight zero minus one multiplied by six fifteen. So in place of four sixty five, you place one zero eight zero minus one multiplied by six fifteen. So now, after solving this, you will get six fifteen minus seven plus one zero eight zero four multiplied by four. So u is minus seven, v is four. This equal to fifteen. So from fifteen, we got the reverse order. This is how we solve the equation u. We are finding the values u and v. So u is equal to minus seven, v is equal to four. Uh, v is equal to four. 
Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.